Okay, so this is going to be a little bit of uh, gameplay from EVE Online. I have a trial account. And I've always wanted to try this game because I love space games. Um, as you will know from my previous video covering Black Prophecy's beta. Anyways, um, this is a very different game than that, but graphically it's excellent. Um, and uh, yeah, let's hop into the game. I'm not going to show character creation because I've already done that. I mean, I, I, I've already played through that part in this, and you can YouTube search character creation for EVE all time. So, anytime you want, basically. So, yeah, we're going to skip that. Now, this is uh, one of the nice things about EVE is when you buy it, it's $20. Um, and it comes with all previous and future expansions. So, if an expansion comes out, you don't have to pay for it. Other notable features are that it is uh, all one server, um, and it's very open. It's not, uh, how can I describe it? The economy is entirely player-based, um, I guess is, is how you'd say it. So this is part of the new expansion. You can go inside your ships, or your stations rather. You can walk around and you can re-customize your character and all that sort of stuff. I mean, it's it's all stuff you can do from the menus, so I'm not really sure what the purpose of it is yet. Um, I know that the game is going to interact with the upcoming Dust 514 for PlayStation 3, and that's like a shooter game, I think. I don't really know. Um, it seems silly to me that they would separate them into two different games. Why not just add that functionality to this game? I mean, that seems like it would make more sense. Let me just throw on some tunes in the background. I kind of like to have music going. Uh, I'll just play. You can load up your own MP3s and stuff, but I'll just play the, the default soundtrack. Hold on. Oh, it's not playing. Play. I guess it is. I just can't hear it. Alright, um... I'm not really sure where I left off. Uh, let me just check my skills real quick. One of the another interesting things in this game is that the skill system all functions in real time, uh, meaning that you load up skills into your queue, and it's a 24-hour queue, and you continue to learn them even when you're offline, which is kind of neat. I still have no fucking clue what skills I should take, though. I think I've taken... I've taken Spaceship Commander, and I've taken Repair Systems, because that was in the tutorial. But I really have no clue what else to take. Um, I'm in a Mars, so I'm guessing maybe this small energy turret would be helpful. But I don't really know. I guess I don't really care. See, now it takes up like a lot, a huge, long bit of time to learn. It takes 20 hours. So that pretty much fills up my queue. And then if you wanted to throw something else, you could do that, but there's nothing else in there to really learn. I'll just click apply. And that'll start going. Alright. I believe I'm supposed to take a mission from this chick, who's sort of like your tutorial person. Uh, let's see. I guess I'm supposed to go here. I guess let's undock. Traveling through space is a little strange, I think. It, it's... It's not... It doesn't really feel like you're traveling in real time, almost. It almost feels like you're traveling in, like, turn-based fashion, because a lot of stuff is menu-based. So, like, say I have this mission, and I'm supposed to go to this place, and since I set it as my destination, I can just click here, and it'll take me to the star sh Stargate that'll lead me to the right place, I think. All these little dots are, like, places that are, like, things in the area, I guess.
like I said, I, this is literally my second day on the trial, so I really, I am, don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just sort of going along, trying to figure things out. Let's do jump. Now, that's kind of weird. You don't like, there's no like animation of you going in through the center of the jump gate, which is kind of, I don't know, I don't really like that. And I guess you start off in stealth, I guess. I don't really know. Okay, so... I'll have to go to another star game? Alright. Uh, I think you can look at your map and it sh shows you how many gates you have to go through. Where's my map? Uh, I still... Oh, there it is. I think that's, I think that means that's the last week when I have to go through. I don't know. <laughs> I'm still, like I said, I'm still learning this freaking game, so. But man, it is a beautiful game. I will have to give it that. This is their starter ship for the MR. Look how cool that looks. I went online and I checked out the, um, uh-oh. Was that a bad guy? What was that? Oh, there's the gate. All right. One of the things that keeps throwing me off is the, uh, the scrolling in this game is reverse. So, like, to zoom in, you pull the scroll wheel towards you, which is normally zooming out in everything else ever created by man. So I don't really know what the deal with that is. Okay, so I think this is where I have to go. And that's over there. So let's... Let's warp over there. My only real complaint with this game so far is combat is a little funky. It's like it's very automated. Like you just you select your target and you pretty much say like you set your orbit rate and it automatically has you moving around the target. This looks like the place I was just at. I didn't go in a big circle this time. Uh, doc? Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. I guess, no, this is a new place because these are all new agents, so... Does it look the same? You can also, um, mouse move. Like, I could double click there and my guy will go. I haven't seen any way to make him move fast, so he walks slow as shit. It's running a little bit laggy in this one, I don't know why. Didn't in the last one. W, there is no W, is there W A S D? Oh no, there is W A S D. okay. Yeah, this place looks exactly like the other one. It's kind of disappointing that there isn't more stuff. What's over here? Can I go this way? Oh, maybe they're going to add to it. That seems like something they're going to expand later. So, did I complete my mission? What the hell? How do I see my missions? I'm confused. Some of it, like, I mean, it's a very open game, and it's very complex. Like, it's not very handholdy, so it's easy to not know what the hell to do. I guess you really have to come into this game with friends or with people who you know that already play it. Because I don't know anybody who plays this, um, so that might be kind of an issue for me. Uh, I know there are these things called corporations, are kind of like guilds, but they're actually called corporations because they can really do things. They can set up like space stations and, and I think they can colonize parts of planets and you can like set up businesses, like you can craft ships and 
mine ores and shit like that and sell it and there's this whole crazy economy system it's it's if you go to the eve website there's actually like a page part of it that shows you like the scrolling like economy levels and stuff and it's like looking at a stock market thing it's it's all very confusing um and I, that's what people love about it so if you want something that's really in depth like that then by all means this is going to be the game for you but I don't know, I just don't know anything about that kind of stuff, so it's really throwing me off. Alright, so what the problem was, I hadn't accepted the mission. Now I have, I have to transport these, I had this item here to another base, and to do that I have to move it from my inventory to my ship cargo inventory, which is, I have to use a ship interface, which is in my captain's quarters, I don't know where. Is this it? No, no. These are my captain's quarters. Alright, this is... There we go. Ah, here we go. Open cargo bay. Alright. Drag and drop that motherfucker there. Set my destination. And let's head out. You know what, I'm just going to skip there because you've already seen me travel there once. <laughs> Actually, you know what, while I'm warping there, let's talk about a few other things. Uh, this is sort of like your ship's uh, status, I guess you would say. Um, this top bar is your shields, and then the bottom one is your armor, and then the inner one is your final hull or structure status. Uh, this right here is like your energy. Um, when you're firing weapons or warping, it uses energy. And uh, you got your cargo bay, uh, your reset camera, autopilot. Uh, this, you click this to activate your weapons. This is a uh, repair thing that I have equipped to my ship. They give it to you in the beginning. Um, let's see. Oh, one thing that's important to note, and I haven't had this happen yet because I'm still in early areas, the high security level areas, but if your ship is destroyed, it's destroyed. It's gone. You have to buy a new one, which I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, at, on one side, yeah, it's realistic, but if you have a badass ship and it gets destroyed, that fucking sucks, man. I mean, what the hell? But I guess you can get insurance. Um, you can pay like premiums and get insurance to have cover up to a large portion of the ship's cost. I don't know how those rates are. I haven't really gotten into any of that kind of crap yet. But um, I guess that's there. Uh, your starter ship is always available to you. So that's, you know, I guess that's something, but... I'm not exactly sure, like if your starter ship gets blown up, I wonder if you lose all your weapons. Like if you equip a badass weapon to your starter ship and it gets blown up, do you lose that? I don't know. It's a good question. Alright, so let's see, I'm here. Uh, reach your design. I guess we got a dock. And I guess you just talk to her to hand in the mission, and I get some credits. Well done. You've made it to the system. I've relayed more information about the courses available to your Neocom. Each course is designed to let you try out various activities without any long-term commitment. You are free to take these courses in any order, so start with whatever interests you most. Alright, so this is sort of the tutorial to show you the different careers. Let's see what we got here. We got military, uh, pilots live for war, wielding unimaginable destructive forces, blah 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 blah. Okay, so that's probably combat. We got industry pilots are the rugged individuals tearing asunder asteroids and reforging them into material. 
Mining. So that's mining. Exploration. That sounds kind of cool. Discovering cosmic anomalies and dead space signatures. I wonder how you make money doing that. I wonder if, like, places pay you to bring back artifacts or something? Advanced military. That sounds... What's the difference between that and regular military? Yeah, I don't want to do that. I think... Let's just try this, because this will probably have some time. That was my dog. Sorry. Go lay down, Odin. Ooh. Okay. Clear the pirates from the asteroid belt. Awesome. Sounds good. Add waypoint. Wait, how come there's no set destination? Alright, well we'll accept this. Three units of multi-frequency S. I wonder what that is. I haven't figured... It seems like there's ammo, but I don't see any sort of... thingy. Oh. This is literally the first time I'm going through this, so that's why I keep stopping and reading. Um, which is probably boring for me. Okay, I got on duck. But we're gonna go kill some pirates. Should be fun. Oh, if you haven't noticed, I switched to my own music. Alright, so where am I supposed to go? Okay, right click on the weapon slot and HUD and select show them for potential. I've already seen this. Oh, okay. Alright, where am I supposed to go? Okay. So you can, when you take a mission, you can travel right there, which is kind of helpful. You can just go like agent missions, and then encounter warp to location. So that's kind of cool. I like that. Um, it does take out some of the explorative aspect of it, but I suppose if you wanted to, you could probably just fly around. I mean, there's no fuel. At least I don't think there's fuel. You just have your energy capacitor status, and that refills on its own. And you're not doing shit. So. Extreme close up. Take a look at the ship. Starter ship for Amar. And each of the um, different races have like basically different types of ships. Uh, the Amar focus on laser weaponry. So pew pew action. Uh, the Kaldari, if I remember correctly, are like missiles. Um, um, what are the other races? Shit. There's Minmatar, I forget what they specialize in. I think turrets of some sort. And then Galenti is drones. Am I there? Am I at the right place? Oh yeah, okay. So here's an enemy. See the red? Now, if I click on him and I say... Sorry about that, my dog's freaking out. Let's go orbit his ass and kill him. I chose the closest orbit, I hope that's not too close. When we get close, what's... Let's show him here, let me show that. Tell me how far. It's supposed to tell you how far or how close you need to be. Okay. Pew pew. See his information up here. So yeah, like I'm really not doing anything. I just set it on orbit and attack his ass. Alright, and stop. Click down stop. Sit stop. I want to loot his shit. Hmm. Uh, let's 
see. Open cargo. Nothing in there. I didn't get shit. Oh well. How many of these guys do I have to kill? I just need more popping up now. Orbit I see I took a little itty bitty bit of damage there. Not much. These guys are pretty weak. Um, let me just bring up my journal. Oh, I don't know how much I gotta kill. You can set the stuff to snap, which is kind of nice. So I gotta kill 10 of them, I guess. I get a beam laser. It's not so bad. I like weapons. Am I firing back? Why am I not firing back? Shoot him! Oh, he must have had a longer range than me, that's why. Oh, crap. Alright, one down. Orbit. Man, they got much longer range than me. I can't even see his ass. Now you can... Uh, there's a way you can... There you go. You can like... What the hell? There we go. So this is him. This is the enemy. I still don't understand why I'm not firing at his ass. Sometimes it's hard to select shit. There we go. Damn it. Stop. Dude, these guys don't drop shit. Alright, let's stop our ship for a second, and I will repair. So this button lets you repair. You kind of glow a little bit. Oh, crap, it doesn't repair your shields. I guess... Alright, so <laughs> I just wasted a bunch of that, uh, energy. Well, you basically seen the combat, so that's that's the combat. It is what it is. It's I don't know. I find it a little less. I find it a lot less fun, quite frankly, than the kind of combat you see in Black Prophecy or something like Freelancer or X3 or you know those types of games, like where you're in the cockpit and it's all like. I, I mean, is there even a name for those? I guess you. I mean. I've only just heard them called space simulators or ship simulators, and that's what this is called, so I don't know. But those are more fun in my opinion than this type of combat. I mean this isn't bad, it's just it's kinda boring, is all. Okay, so I'm back at the moon station base place, and I think I completed the mission. Because I saw a check mark next to the thing. So uh who gave me that mission? Zafir of Complete mission. Okay, so... Oh yeah, I found you can have like an auto-hide feature, which is kind of cool. I like that. It gives you more game space, and you can also minimize it. Uh, so you can go... 
wonder if auto hide still works. Oh, it does. Sweet. Okay. Uh, so I should have gotten this though. What is this? Show info. Description. Randomly select this laser through the entire spectrum. Is this a weapon? Is this an ammo? What? If it's ammo, it should just say fucking ammo right here. Because I have no clue what that is. Obviously, I know what this is. Laser beam. Durr. But, uh, okay. How ships? I think ship fit it. Here we go. Fit it. Alright, so this is how you equip ship. Shit to your ship. Um, these are like your slots. Empty, high power, and then medium, and then lower. And obviously, with like better ships, you're going to have tons more slots put shit in. So, this is what I had originally. I have two slots, so I might as well... Let me see the info on this. Ammo types. Gamma, infrared, multi-frequency, radio standard. What's the difference between this? I have... So I have two of the same emeralds. But that says three and that says one. I don't get it. I just do not get it. Someone needs to explain this shit to me. I'm just gonna equip both weapons. And I just got this one, so that's probably the better. Wait. What did I just do? Oh. Whatever. I'm gonna put the repair thing in. Oh. I don't think I can equip this. I'm using too much power. Understand what equipping this onto my weapons does exactly. I'm, I'm assuming it enhances the damage. Okay, so I definitely want my repair thing. I'll throw that on there. I can't. I guess I can't equip two weapons. And I'm assuming. Whoops. Shit. How can I see? I wish I knew how I could find out what the distance is here. Volume, capacity, charge, size, action, Accuracy, fall off. Is that it? 3,000? Optimal range, 4,000 for that one. That one says optimal range. What was the optimal range for this one? Whoa. That's further. Yeah, let's go with this. And I guess I'm just going to put that there because that must increase damage somehow. Recharge rate is insufficient. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Yeah, so, well, that's the basics of Eve for a little, some of it. I mean, like I said, this game is ginormous. Uh, in a 14-day trial, hopefully that's long enough for me to learn how to play this game and to see whether or not... I will enjoy it. The more I play it, the more I enjoy it. I still wish the combat was a little bit more exciting, but can't have everything you want in this life, I guess. Thanks for watching.